That's right, this week on Movies in the Man Cave, we are doing a movie recommended to us by one of you, our loyal viewers. So this is the importance of leaving comments, talking to us if you see us. That's we right. get to take your suggestions and put them online. That's right. This week, we took a viewer suggestion from Andrea Thompson, our first winner from the quote. She, she suggested watching an older movie, uh, Winchester 73. It's an old Western movie from the 50s. If you couldn't tell from the music that we have playing already. Right. Let's get rid of that because it's kind of annoying. And it actually takes place in the late 1800s. Uh, it just follows a gun, a, a Winchester repeater, through all of its multiple owners, however that might happen. And uh, Cody, you want to take it from there? Sure. Uh, to be honest, even though it was a viewer request, I went in with pretty low expectations. I always am looking for that western that i really enjoy and I, and I don't find them too often so i and being older i kind of went in with low expectations mm -hmm. so i was pleasantly surprised by this movie uh i thought it had a really good story to me the story felt like a mix between a western and an episode of the twilight zone it almost had this uh science fictiony feel to this gun happened to be cursed you know right it was like a cursed monkey paw or something whoever has it <laughs> is going to end up something bad happening to him. So it had that going for it. Uh, you know, Jimmy Stewart mm -hmm. played a very believable cowboy. Yeah. You know, when yeah. you think of him in It's a Wonderful Life, you don't get a cowboy western sense no. at all. But when he, you know, put the chaps on riding the horse, I thought it was pretty believable. Yeah. It's so actor, I right? enjoyed him in that. Obviously, I didn't know anybody else in the movie. It no. was from 1950, so he's the only one you can latch on to. Yeah. Uh, I liked... The sharpshooting that kind of starts with a shooting contest, and I really enjoyed that. The only thing about that is it made me not like the ending. The ending ends on a big gunfight where they must... I wish I would have counted, but they must have gone through yeah. 200 rounds <laughs> exactly. in like, the course of five minutes, where at the beginning of the movie, you see them shoot... And they're acing you know, bullseyes from right, 75 yards toss away. Toss a silver <laughs> dollar up in the air and going right through it. But yeah. when you're shooting at a person, all of a sudden the guns yeah, aren't hitting you're ricocheting their ricocheting off the mountain. So I didn't like yeah. that. But overall, I really did enjoy it. Uh, they had some good lines in it. Uh, you know, three or four, and I just thought to myself, that was a pretty good line. That yeah. was well written. It was it was more uh, funny than I thought it would be, I guess. There was some jokes along the yeah. way, and for you sure. Think old Western like that is just going to be serious and, and, you know, grim. and uh, But yeah, there's little jokes in there that, I don't know. I take it that ending and reveal was supposed to be a plot twist, that you weren't supposed to be seeing coming maybe yeah, yeah maybe it was at the time yeah yeah there's a huge plot twist in there that if you can't figure it out by the time it's revealed you i don't know i, I don't know if they were supposed to be able to figure that out back in 1950 or if that was supposed to if yeah. that was a sixth sense ending for them i don't yeah, know exactly so <laughs> what, what did you think overall uh i i, I too i really liked it i kind of went in there with uh you know, not low expectations, but I, I watched the uh, like a, tra a trailer for it online, and it was obviously from the '50s, and it just it seemed kind of ridiculous. And um, yeah, it was actually really well done. Jimmy Stewart is just a really good actor. I found, and that's I think it's one of the first full Western, old Western movies I've watched from beginning to end, and it was it was pretty good. It uh, like you were saying with the the gun being cursed, it reminded me of like Lord of the Rings, old sure. Western, like. Everybody wants the gun, you know. I was waiting for them to call it their precious. You know, they're they're all cradling the gun and they're fighting over this gun. And um, yeah, it it again, you know, you'd kind of expect that final, you know, showdown to be a little more climactic. Like you know, it just kind of it's it kind dragged. of a letdown. It did, and there was a, a lot of parts in the movie that dragged. But you know, the first big brawl in the movie, it kicked in that old western fight music, and I was just. I was ready to go, and so it did. It took a, like what, like ten, fifteen minutes to get into it, but then finally, once it came, it was worthwhile. But yeah, overall, I liked it a lot. It's a good choice. So. It was interesting to see, and I don't know if this is how most old westerns are, but uh, somebody would die, and it could have been somebody's fiance. And two minutes later, they're completely over the death. <laughs> yeah, you know, they're just moving on to keep the movie going. And of it course, didn't the, even happen. The death is one of those. The I try. <laughs> and there it is. Overly it's, dramatic head spin to the left. Yeah, of course, and you gotta yeah. throw up the arms. But so. I guess that's that's that's, that's why we like the westerns, that's right? Theater. That's yeah, part of exactly. the, that's part of the enjoyment. So I would definitely recommend it, and I definitely thank our viewer for the recommendation. Yeah, absolutely. So keep those recommendations coming. We'd like to see more good movies that we might not know a lot about, and the only way we're gonna hear that is from you guys. That's right. So, 
Uh, speaking of hearing from you guys, we had a winner with our quote last week, Jared. That's right. Last week's winner was Chris Nilsson. He guessed it right on the YouTube page. Um, so way to go, Chris. Let's take a look at the quote from last week in this clip. You haven't anything to worry about. He hasn't spoken a word in 15 years. That movie is Halloween. The original. The first one, yep. Yeah, Dr. Loomis. I wouldn't have known the character name. Yeah, so. Sorry, I'm a fan. No, that's, <laughs> that's a good thing. That's why we're here. Yeah. Uh, we have a new quote for you this week. It's one I happen to like a lot. So if you can figure out the answer, make sure you get us in the comments. The quote is, Well, my name is Jim, but most people call me Jim. So... An awesome movie. Yeah, good movie, good quote. Uh, put it in the comments and we can get your name online next week. Right. This week, what's coming out in theaters? Um, again, it's one of those weekends where only one big thing is coming out. It's the new J.J. Abrams, uh, you know, crazy end of the world drama Steven movie. Steven Spielberg. Yep, that's uh, Super 8. Uh, I've pretty much heard it's a cross between E.T. and Close Encounters of the Third Kind, so alien movie. Spielberg, Spielberg, and more Spielberg, and more Spielberg field Spielberg, to it. Yeah, and uh, it's, you know, J.J. Abrams, he, you know, he did the Cloverfield stuff, uh, obviously did Lost, and, and it's just, it seems like it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, it's got a lot of hype coming into it, so I hope lot it doesn't of hype. let down. They, they had that uh, teaser trailer at the beginning of Iron Man 2 last year, so, and it's just coming out now, so definitely a lot of hype. So. There's a chance we might see that movie this week, a but chance. it is actually... Up to you. We're going to go to the theaters this week to catch one of the big blockbusters that's out there right now. Yeah. And we want you to let us know which one we should see. We've narrowed it down to three. And the most vote getters in the comments, either on YouTube or anywhere else that you can find on our blog, will that's the movie we'll go see. Yeah. The options are Super 8, which yeah. just comes out this week. Uh, X-Men First Class, yeah. which came out last week. And the new Pirates movie, Pirates which came Four. out... Three or four weeks ago. Yeah. So those are the ones on our radar that we're wanting to check out. You let us know which one you would like to see a review on to decide whether or not you want to go see it or to see if we agree with your opinion after you see it. It is the viewer's choice episode after all. Yeah. So that's why we're here. Uh, we are expanding our media empire, Jared. Do you want to Indeed. talk about that? Yeah. We are now officially on Facebook. Woo! The Facebook uh, you can find us, just search Movies in the Man Cave up in the little search bar on Facebook. Uh, we're also on Twitter. Uh, we are at Man Cave Movies or twitter.com slash Man Cave Movies. So go on there, send us your comments, your requests, what you like, what you don't like, everything. So we are socially mediatized. That's right. We're all over the internet now. Viacom better watch out. We're That's taking right. over this media watch empire. Out. So... That's it for this week. Like we said, if you've seen this uh, Western movie, Winchester 73, let us know what you thought. Put it in the comments. Uh, right. Make sure you try to guess on this week's quote. And make sure to put in a vote for which movie we will see next week. Also stay tuned. Uh, coming up in a few days, we will have our first ever mini, mini. episode. So a little bonus present in the in part of the week for you. That's so, right. That's it for this week. We will see you later this week. Computer. Oh, it doesn't look too He's really doing that.